parking ability, you might be getting on somebody's nerves. But tell them you paid for your ticket. I totally see it as um, a ministry. We're going out here to create some melodies and scream um, um, these lyrics to get attention, uh, to focus on that one moment, that altar call at the end. So many people think it's just about jumping, it's just about how good you know, the tunes and everything sound. It's not about that. It's all about God, and it's all about his deliverance and what he can do for you. If it takes Sheila, Montrell, Curtis, Jeanette, whoever it takes to uh, Danya to sing this <laughs> lyric, um, I'm willing. We even go as far as to pull people out of the audience and, and include them to let them know, again, it's, it's not us. You know, this is just something we're doing now to really grasp, get your attention. So when that altar call comes, you understand where I'm going and where I came from in this service. Young people today need to know Jesus Christ. Yeah. And there is an alternative for them. God's word is just going to cut right down, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to, to, to where it really counts. And, um, and I think that, that he's doing that with his music. Angela and Veronica, um, I love them because of their unique ability to just minister, sing vocally. And, and honestly, I'm going to be real honest here. I love the facial expression of the audience when you see uh, quote unquote two white figures walk out on stage and they begin to sing and I think it really draws that line and say, well we can say gospel is not a black thing or a white thing or a red thing, it's a Jesus thing.